Kid Nation, we have uh, something awesome happening here uh, because we are all huge Outer Banks fans. And uh, when we had the opportunity to bring two of the stars from the show, uh, we got we got super pumped. We got and real lucky, too. Yeah, right? Season three officially drops tomorrow. Uh, I know, Anna, you got a little bit of a sneak peek of oh. this. My God, yes. I was able to get an early screener for it, and I was like, okay, I'll watch the first episode so I can talk about it. I had to binge, like, most of it because it is so good. The cliffhangers in season three are deadly. I mean, like, not like, I not, like actually. That sounds like a spoiler. Well, spoiler. Hold back a minute and introduce Wait, our guest. <laughs> <laughs> joining us on the show right now, he plays Pope on the show, is Jonathan Davis. But I saw that your friends call you JD, and you said, I'm JD when you came in, so. Yeah, it's just kind of a reflex now, I guess. We going by JD, dude? Yeah, re- yeah JD. All right, cool. JD and JC are best friends now. Also, uh, you know her as Cleo. She was a fan favorite. I mean, you came out hot in season two. Carlacia Grant is joining us as well, Yay! along with JD. Carlacia, the first thing I noticed when you walked in, I was like, oh, you don't have the accent. I don't. It's a character. I know. But a, a lot of the times, you know, when, when you pop up, I'm yeah. like, oh, I don't want to look it up yet. I want I want to yeah. walk in. Was it? Oh. Did you have to do like a dialect coach to get the accent down? Yes, all the above. I have a dialect coach and I spend countless amount of hours on YouTube like watching like very regular Bahamians just sitting around like in school or out of school or like I just watch it all day long, like 12 hours. (laughs) Does it ever stick? Like when you're yes. out, when you go out, I have to stop doing it because now I'm like, dang, I don't want it to be like a character. So I'm like trying to focus on not. Doing Everybody makes so much fun of Austin Butler, poor guy. Yes. Oh, yeah, you know. He, <laughs> right. But do you yeah. keep the accent even when you're filming, or do you go back to normal, or do you like? I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it, so I use it all the time while filming. You know, now it's become like second nature to me. Yeah. So like now I can easily just like pop on and off. into it. And my family's also from the West Indies, so like I pull a lot from them. So it's that not helps. like that far off. Now, John, you guys had a pretty intense scene uh, in uh, season two, you oh, know, yeah. yes. you know, on the boat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who, do you think won? Who do you think won? Who do you think won? See, why are you gonna do that to me, Felicia? I think, you I, I think it was. I think it was a tie. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Like, we'll, say, we'll say it's a tie. That's a coward's way. <laughs> 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 you know, I was for, holding back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was trying to be nice on there, but is there going to be more interaction between Cleo and Pope on the on season three? Because I I, I kind of got a little bit of like after that. You know, altercation. There was a little like, oh, you know what's happening. I'm not. I'm yeah, not gonna spoil. Yeah, I doesn't want to spoil that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. As much, I want to. Oh, season three, so Outer Banks. There's just something about the show that is so addicting. But also, it's like I feel like I could be part of the friend group. I feel like yeah. I'm a pogue. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's a you very are. open friend group. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> definitely. And uh, you know, as it pertains to Cleo and Pope, I definitely think there's gonna be like a little some some little some happening. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. there's definitely a little bit of tension there. It could yeah. be broken. So. You yeah. can feel it. It's really demanding, like physically. Like you guys are always running, always fighting, always jumping. Does it just take a lot of training? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, like we all have trainers and we all work out. Mm-hmm. We all go to the gym, like yeah. like at least while we're filming, at least three days a week when we can. You yeah. know, some because like some days we might film like for five straight days, mm-hmm. and then like on the weekends we'll have to find time to either relax or like work out or like go get like massages but yeah yeah it's uh it's very physically demanding y'all social media like behind the scenes <laughs> i try to watch so much because you just look like you're having so much fun yeah it is like are. summer camp yeah. yeah do you guys find it that people call you by your character's name yeah. out on the streets the a lot all the time is all that time. something that's welcome or are you guys like no i'm, I'm jd i'm carlacia <laughs> no it's cool i don't it's mind cool. it i mean Cleo's yeah. cool as hell that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah. and you know, I, I, I just, like it yeah it makes me happy that people like like these characters enough and watch the show and yeah, you know right. it's a compliment yeah. but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you like sometimes like if you just say the character name i just won't respond to it because i'm not really thinking about it yeah <laughs> like, oh man pope is so mean he ignored me <laughs> hey do you guys do you guys do your own stunts i was wondering because it or do you guys have stunt doubles during these fight scenes and stunt scenes the fight scenes we're doing you're really? doing those sure. most of that stuff yeah, we do honestly besides the um we did swap them out for like the kick remember when i kicked you in the yeah Oh, yeah, we swapped them out. Oh, and the, and the, yeah, for and like, the guys. For we like the full contact, for we might. But like, you know, for, for that fight scene in season two with uh, when it's me and Rafe in the mud and we're kind of like having that little grudge match. Yeah. That's, all, that's me and Drew. Like, yeah. we're like, we just kind of make like, we come before, we talk to each other. We're like, hey, like. Don't go pull on, my go hair. Yeah. No, nah, we're like, go for it, man. Like, let's do it. Like, I fu- it's funny you brought up that because I talked to Anna about that scene. Because <laughs> I was like, man, why didn't Pope? Just come up behind Rafe and just give him that chokehold action because you went in and you pushed him down. Oh yeah. Do, do you ever get to tell the director like, "Yo, man, this might not be a good move for uh for Pope to survive this." <laughs> it's funny, like it. 
it depends on like you know they all pre-visit out before like the stunt team comes and they show us like all right this yeah. is like this is what we mm -hmm. want y'all to do and then there might be like on the day we might get there and i'm like why can't he just like do this <laughs> right <laughs> and, yeah and i mean three seasons in like do you get that kind of say it's like it depends i guess it just like most of the stuff we can come to him with like yeah you know, if, it depends. if he's open like he's, yeah. he's always open to suggestions but it's like i need another love scene just saying, just throw it in here. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm like the love scene, please. Oh, you look oh, at me yeah. when you said that, Kelly. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, here I am. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're waiting on. This season's for you, then. Oh, yeah. I love love. Yeah. This is, this is a good. This is a good season for love. This is yeah, a big Valentine's yeah, I have a 16 year old daughter, Ooh. and so they are just obsessed and really excited. But the danger is, you binge everything, and then you have to wait for the next season to come out. So it's like that's how we feel. Yeah, we, we work on it for like six or seven months, yeah. and then people binge it the night of. Yeah, and they're like, when's right, the next season? <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, that takes a really long time. Like, yeah. to do the process is so long, but since you binge it, it's like it goes by so quick. You know, the first the first season had such a, a cliffhanger. I was so upset going into the the first season. I had my daughter tell me how it ended because I was so emotionally invested, <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I said, "Just tell me who lives and who dies, so I can know." So this season is it like one of these mega cliffhangers that if the fans don't watch, we don't bring it back. We'll never know what happens. I say yeah. every season, if the fans don't watch, they won't bring. So, because we got we got to all watch like when it comes out the gate to show them how passionate we are, so we make sure we get a season four. Exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah. And yes. I just we're all really excited. It took it was there's a lot of hard work that went into this season and trying yeah. to make it as big as we could. You know, I felt like we all really felt like you know with the last two seasons, the season two was a COVID season, so we really couldn't push mm. in yeah. the way we wanted to. And I feel like this year we definitely like. Yeah. Trying to step it up a little and there's bit. also a lot of cliffhangers between episodes. Do you guys <laughs> get like the entire season at once where you can read ahead? No, no. Like, really? No, we're like just as shocked as everyone else. No. We're like in the group text, like, did you get the new script? Did you read yeah. it? Like, Am I still alive? We'll be, oh my like, God. We'll be deep <laughs> in the <laughs> filming before we get episode ten. And yeah, we're like, yeah. You know, like, so we don't know. Oh my God. Because sometimes they want to gauge. Was Cleo always going to be a, a character that was going to be introduced as a full time character? Or yes, was, yes, yes. We knew that. Yeah, when we when they when they that character came into season two, that's exactly what they said. I think it was a little bit like, okay, well, who's Cleo going to be paired with? That was kind of like okay. the mystery. Cause I was, if she would be paired with anybody. I was kind of legit sad when she kind of went away for a little bit. Like, oh, man, I kind of was with my girl Cleo. Man. They talked about that. They said that they wanted that. They wanted it to be like a goodbye. So then when she came back, it's like, oh. There she is. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's surprising and exciting all at once whenever you find out that she's back. And the yeah. reintroduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What's it like to see yourself on Netflix, though? That's got to be. It's tri it's The first time was trippy. I'm not going to lie. It was like. You're like, oh snap! Like, That's me. Is that what I look like? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Yeah. What do y'all do when you're not filming, like in your time off? Carlesia is a karaoke queen, from what I gather. Yes, I do. I is she the best singer on the show? No, Madison <laughs> is the best singer. Me. But I love Madison's the best singer. Oh, okay. But I love karaoke. I wish I could sing. What's in your song? Life. Go to yeah, go to song. Um. Like if you had to, Bruno like. Mars, Uptown Funk. Ooh. Oh, you do Uptown yeah. Funk by yeah. Bruno Mars. That's okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Now, did you grow up doing, or did you do some uh, Beauty Queen stuff? Yes. Like pageants I did and stuff. Pageants. Do you think that helped you with acting? For sure. Yeah. For sure. It gives you like a good a good balance because like pageants, you're like used to like always being on and always like, like you know you get. Inter I was interviewed very young, so like you know I'm pretty comfortable in like environments with people, so it just makes you comfortable in your skin. I think. Yeah, pageants right. get a bad rap. Unless you grew up with them or have ever judged one, yeah. they are the most together, yeah. polished, quick on their feet. Yeah. I just I have so much positive things to say about pageants. They get yeah. a bum rap. And JD, I saw you doing some high fashion now, dude. Oh, man. Look at you, I'm man. Move into that space. Yeah, I see. Yes. You. <laughs> Is that the you doing Armani or something? Yeah, yeah. I just um, started a Armani campaign this year with with Chase Stokes and uh, a oh of, really yeah and uh, Camila Mendez, Lee Reinhardt, uh, Isabel Merced. Um, like a big Gage, Netflix Michael. family. I yeah. know. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of great people in that group, and um, happy to be uh, kind of in this space. They call it like Generation A. Like, gonna be doing some really cool stuff this year, kind of with Aqua de Jo and um, you know, the fragrance line, and you know, they're gonna be some good charity work. So I'm really excited to uh, kind of move into this new fashion. Space. How do you guys balance now that you're getting a, a lot of success with a huge show, with the you know, with your friends and the new friends that that come along with this? We is it tough? We don't have new friends. No, <laughs> no new think, friends. No, no, we, no, we do. It's like oh, somebody's playing up Tom Funk over there. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Are you seeing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh, guess go. who's about to put me on the spot? You want to have fun? Um, <laughs> That's how we're gonna end Thank the interview. You, you want to have fun? Yeah. Um, That's what I came here for. Well, listen, you can follow them on social media because their their social media is so much fun to follow. They get you guys give so much behind the scenes, which is really cool for yeah. us fans to take in. Yeah. Uh, so give it out, JD. What's your what's your Insta? 
uh, at Jonathan Davis official, and there's two S's, two S's. in Davis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, it's, it's it's legal. That's on my license. That's on my birth certificate. Don't get it. Confu- <laughs> don't get it confused with the corn, uh, Jason, yeah. uh, Jonathan Davis. I, as I do, I'm sure I lost a lot of followers when they realized I wasn't that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you clicked onto my page and saw I was black, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of there, bro. Come on. Uh, Carlacia, what's yours? Um, at Carlacia Grant, just all together. I think my TikTok's different. I think my TikTok's the Carlacia Grant. Because by the time I made a TikTok, the fans already Somebody made one. Somebody took it? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like that type of thing. I can't get no social yeah. media now. Now with my name. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta like ask for it's it. It's crazy how fast they are on Yeah. Now. And yeah. Carlacia, you said yeah. you like karaoke. And we like singing oh on the gosh. show. Oh. Okay. Yes, Let's sir. Let's are you gonna go. give me some backup at least? Oh, we're oh, all gonna oh, sing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Let's do it. I'll give you something. All right. I'll give you a hand. Do you need the <laughs> Do you need the lyrics? You, yes, give me the lyrics. You want lyrics? Yep. Right, I'm gonna look them up. I feel like I, I know it, but I'm not gonna embarrass myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that one? 45 oh, second God. intro, so be yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> this is where he's grooving. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. That's you. That's you me. Oh, is that it? I don't know. Go. This is when good, good, good girls, good, good, good girls, say masterpiece, styling, wilding, living it up in the city. Got chucks on with St. Laurent. Gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. It's too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. It's too hot, hot damn. Like a dragon wanna retire, man. It's too hot, hot damn. Say my name, you know who I am. It's too hot, hot damn. Man's about that money. Break it down. Girls hit your hallelujah. Girls hit your hallelujah. Girls hit your hallelujah. Cause up down funk gon' give it to you. Wait. Cause up down funk gon' give it to you. Wait. Better than night and we done it. Don't believe me, just watch. Woo! Yes. That's always fun to just sing and go out like that, right? Why not? Yeah, I lost my record deal on that one. <laughs> Perfect. Nah, man, perfect. you guys sound beautiful. It's so Thank good you. to meet you guys. So nice to meet you guys. We're going to keep supporting you. Thank Season you. three. Check it out tomorrow, Outer Banks. Yeah. Jonathan, thank you so much. Carlacia, thank you thank so much. You, you guys are welcome back anytime. Oh, for sure. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Great thank time. Thank you.